this is where I got stung. Good morning, everybody. Um, <laughs> this is Michelle with Red Dirt Rooster Road. Uh, I've been working bees. Emergency bee situation. <clears throat> um, yes, I am by myself. So, uh, Moni is working. Um, we basically have had a, a swarm, a big, big swarm, out of our, uh, what we call our royal hive. I'm letting the bees calm down. They were just airborne for, you know, hovering over the, the, the hive. And then the hive was just bearding and, and it was more than bearding. It's bigger than I've ever seen it before. So in 30 minutes time, it like doubled. So I am, I feel 99% confident this is a swarm and just because of the sheer number of the bees and we've not seen the bearding outside like that. So, I mean, if you look, they go all the way up. They're just, so this is a huge number of bees. I knew this was gonna happen, but between the rainstorms and all the rain and the cloudy days, Monty working, um, we have literally not had an opportunity. And I knew that the first day that we get that sunny and warm watching Frederick Dunn, he said, be ready for a swarm. I've got to get my head wrapped around what we're going to do. Okay. I'm, <laughs> to say I'm intimidated to tackle this by myself <laughs> is an understatement. I feel pretty confident, but you know, I just have been stung twice in the last seven days. I'm a little hesitant, but I also love these royal bees and I don't want to lose them. So I think I'm going to give Monty a call while he's working. I think I'm going to get some mental reinforcements here. Maybe call my dad and see, you know, Monty was like, keep an eye on him. But this thing has, it, it, not even 30 minutes ago, this thing is growing. And I'm afraid this will be a swarm if, if they get away, and I don't know, but if they get away from us, this will take over half, maybe up to 70% of the colony. So basically, the goal is to scoop them down in here. We already have this set up as a swarm trap, so, I'm going to go slow and gentle. But they are going down. I don't see a queen in that handful. Let's try it again. Or maybe I won't get so many. I'm looking for a queen. They are going down. They've immediately gone down. Now, I only have about three frames of drawn in there, but you can see I've gotten, gosh, half of them. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna watch. Okay, I talked to Monty again, and I think we're gonna put the lid on it. What we really want to see is some waggle dancing. I am just not super experienced in this, guys. And actually, this has been a big accomplishment for me. So if they did not like this and it happened real quick, you know, they would all start coming out and they would probably collect on the outside of this box. And that would tell me they don't like this box. And I'm watching a lot of the bees coming out. I want to see bees going in. Really want to get in there and look for the queen and cage her if I can, but I don't think this is the right time. Uh, Monty said go ahead and let them, you know, settle a little bit. And I'm just trying to rack my brain thinking, you know, um, trying to remember when it comes to actually hands-on doing this and you're by yourself, man, you second guess everything you do. I mean, I do, I am. Okay, so you can see they're still congregating, but nowhere near what they were. And a lot of the bees are filing back into the hive right up here. It's a Where's Waldo game. <laughs> uh, I've got three bees right there. This is the empty side of our hive. I've got three bees that are, um, fanning. I need to go in and look on this side. The last time this hive swarmed, we had a whole mess of them right in there. Uh, so we also put them in the box. So I actually need to get in there and make sure that because the way they're fanning right there, I need to make sure. Yep, we've got a lot of bees over here. That's what I'm removing from inside this empty cavity over here. I wish I could see a lot of waggle dancing, and I just don't. I hope I'm not making a huge mistake, but I'm going to let them set for a little bit, and then let's watch this clump and see what happens. Okay. I moved the, the swarm trap uh, up here on the chair. Yeah, I'm afraid that most of them are, did not stay. No. This is the side with comb and queen clip. I did not get a queen. Okay, all of that for nothing, guys. Well, it's not for nothing, but I'm glad I got in here and looked. Man, what a long drawn out process this is. I thought for sure we would have had the queen in there. Monty and I are slightly concerned about the queen and I'm not, I'm not that experienced, but seeing um, nectar backfield where the brood has emerged Normally, I think the queen should be back, should actually be coming back in and refilling with eggs. And the fact that they're filling it with nectar, all this brood is being backfilled with nectar. Hmm. I don't think that's what we should be seeing. Okay. Okay, so no eggs, guys. Do we have a bad, do we, are we missing a queen? Are we queen right? Oh, this is testing my ability. Are we queen right? I don't know. If we don't have a queen in here, then that is probably most definitely our issue Okay, what, Royals, what are going, what is going on with you? 
I don't think we have a lane queen, which changes my plans. I mean, the bees are doing what they're supposed to do. They're, they're putting nectar away. But we should have, we should have eggs coming back through here. And yes, a closed queen cell. That's what I want to brood with, surrounded by nectar. Okay. Yep, we have got a closed queen cell. I'm going to try to show you that. It's going to be easier for me to... See that? Okay. That's our closed queen cell. That was the start of one. Let me see what's on the other side. And there's another little start of one. Okay. So followed by nectar. So from here, we actually only found one supersedure cell and the the start of another queen cup so what we ended up doing was just closing everything up and then we just planned on making a split out of here taking some of that brood with a little bit of the larva that we found and the nectar and some a good amount of nurse bees and we ordered a queen so here you will see that where Monty is actually going to the post office to pick up the queen. Hey guys, just got here to the uh, post office and when they called us at 6.30 this morning and told us that uh, we had a package, they didn't bother to tell us that they don't open till 9. So I got a little bit to wait. So I'm going to sit here and wait for them to open because it takes me about same amount of time to wait as it would be to drive back home so uh probably mention it later in the video but what one of our uh, big hives they uh for whatever reason we don't know really sure what caused it but it appears that uh right before the flow started right now uh something happened to the queen we got in there uh, a week ago uh we'll say it was Tuesday or Wednesday and she did find a a uh, queen cell and it was a super seizure it was in the middle of a of a frame it wasn't a swarm cell so something happened to this queen and they're in the process of building this a new queen but in the meantime there was so many bees in there we went ahead and ordered a new queen from I don't know if it's Gardner or Garter but we ordered a new queen so we're gonna alleviate some of the pressure in that hive because it's so big we're gonna alleviate that pressure a little bit with the new new queen start another uh, start us another hive that's what we're doing uh, whenever I get back or whenever I get her from the post office here i'll let you take a look and see how these uh things are shipped got here quick so that's a good thing all right whenever i get her i'll check back in with you guys well folks this is the way a queen bee will come to you so we'll get this little girl home and we'll open her up and we'll see what we we'll show you what it looks like inside the box Okay guys, here she is. She's stuck to the bottom of this box, but pretty cool little saying there underneath it for her. Let me see if I can, I think that's her right there. Yeah. Oh no, no. I see, I see some marking right there. She's supposed to be, yeah. Yeah, we'll get her where we can see her a little better. But she's home now. Okay, guys, just kind of updating. Uh, we're doing this real quick, but we did find uh, the queen cell that I was watching that I marked. 
that queen cell has opened so that queen has emerged and now we've actually found several more queen cups in the making. There's some new larvae in here. Oh, I did see an egg. They're going to be spotty because there's so much nectar. So she has... Is that a drone? That's a drone. Two drones right there. Yeah. Okay. This would be a decent... Okay. We did not find the new queen. We're going to... We found lots of cells, new queen cells. We found eggs today. So we don't know if there is one or more queens in here. Uh, but we know that there are more queen cells. I, I'm hoping we can um, you know, squash their desire to swarm because the numbers are still just so big. And then we will show you when we install our new little queen. Okay guys, um, so we put three frames of brood and nurse bees. There's a few eggs and all. Now right down, get out of the sun here. Yeah, you can see right there is her cage. Um, these bees need to be queenless for 24 hours and we could not find the queen on these three frames. So we're praying that we did not pick up a queen or they won't accept her. But we will come out here and check tomorrow and after 24 hours, these bees should be ready to have a new queen. So, hopefully, I think the nurse bees will stay with her no problem. Um, they're just trying to figure out what's going on. The other hive, we came across quite a few queen cups and queen cells. They are raising a new, new ones. But we did find eggs. Yeah, nobody's trying to come out. So... We have not pulled the, can the candy plug, but we did not want to leave her out of the hive. We wanted to get her in the hive. And so, that way, we, um, you know, she's, she's got attendance. We spritzed her with water, so she'll be good for till tomorrow. And I wish we could have found the new queen in this hive, but it's so big that it was almost impossible so we just verified we looked super good twice when we pulled those frames and then we looked again before we closed them up and put her in there so this is a multi-day process it takes them about 24 hours to realize they don't have queen and then they will accept her pheromone They'll, and then um we should be good. And it'll take them a few days to chew through that candy plug tomorrow after we unplug them. To be continued. Okay. We do have bees, so. Okay, it's actually stuck on the... Does it look like they're feeding her? I mean, there's a lot of bees on here. There's, okay, they're finding the, oh, that's the wrong, there's the end. So put them upside down, right? Put her upside down, candy side down. Do you want to look for the queen real quick? <laughs> Just thinking. Yeah, to me, these bees look like they're all sticking their head down in there, aren't they? They're trying to feed her. 
I think they're accepting her, don't you? Okay. Now I've got to get off. And the attendants. Everybody's alive. I'm trying to put it back where it was. She's not killing anybody. Probably sugar water. I got through there. I need to punch the front of this chair down. At least there's bees in here, so I'm getting ready to pull that plug if she's not already out. But, so that's looking good, I think. <laughs> I don't want to drop. Oh, we've made it through. She's out. Okay. Okay, she's out, thankfully. Okay, there's more bees in here than I was remembering. But, see how you can see down? Wrong end. There we go. You can see down in there. She's out. So, I'm going to try to... I don't even know if I should try to find her, really. Yep. I don't know if you can see her. There she is, right in the center with the green dot. Perfect. Oh, perfect. So. Beautiful girl. Beautiful Italian carniola. Okay. So let's just give them privacy. Let's push them back together. And okay, I feel relieved. I got her out. Okay. Hey guys, I don't think I told you today what I'm doing. Um, obviously, you can see that I am, um, I had to finish up this, this hive, and I just released, well, no, I, I take that back, I just checked, and she's already released, the bees released her, perfect, that's what we needed, so she's down in there, this was a long, drawn-out process, um, I can now close them up though and not have to check on them for a little while other than coming down here and refilling their sugar water because I got to keep that on them. So anyway, um, thank you guys for uh, hanging out with us on all this, uh, the bee escapades. And if I didn't say it before, <laughs> this is Michelle with Red Dirt Rooster Road. And wow, has this been a huge learning curve on this one. Um, we have gone from two hives to four hives, but I'm going to sh get the strap back on this one and leave these girls alone and let them do their work. So, okay. <laughs>